The Village Kitchen is a go-to spot for fresh dishes, and we've got Chef Tana Marino here to share some of their seasonal dishes. And we were saying beforehand, you've ever gone to a place, you're like, oh my gosh, this looks so pretty for a picture. <laughs> Thank but then you. I don't know if like I want to eat it. This is one of those that is so pretty for a picture, and you can't wait to dive in. Chef, how do you so make good. it look so pretty, but yet so tasty? I appreciate that. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I try to influx a lot of colors and and just vibrant you know what's best in the season and really just play off of that and you know the colors is what I really go with and, and just having to be simple but when you walk up to it it's like well I can recognize everything on the plate but it's also you know approachable and delicious yeah. and I think fresh that's what it is like I know what it is right. you know what I mean and they tell you to eat the rainbow and you may be mm -hmm. trying some things that you didn't know that you really would like and, and that's the whole thing you guys change the menu pretty often that's we a do. part of the, the concept we have a core menu that we keep um, but yeah seasonal changes are, are definitely a thing we do a couple of our flatbreads change um, as long as as well as our salads too you know we and put in a little bit of like, you know, in the summer and, and these, this time of year, strawberries, berries, mm -hmm. uh, you know, any kind of peaches. peaches absolutely. Yes. We have a, we had a, a fig and pig in the fall and now we're doing a peach and pig. So it's that same play on a very popular flatbread that we've had, but influx of great, amazing local peaches that literally were pulled from a tree, brought in a basket to us and they're hitting the menu that night. So that, that kind Doesn't of. Doesn't get much fresher right? than yeah. that. Absolutely. So we're yeah. talking about the heart this area. A lot of people have that misconception that only people that live in that area are, have access to the kitchen, but the Village Kitchen is open. Wide open, From yeah. everything from Absolutely. pastries and coffee to these menu items that you Absolutely, yeah, no. We, we are totally open to the public and want to have a, a eventually like a downtown feel where you have a lot of different offerings, a lot of different things that people can experience on the property. So, and we are, yeah, wide open. And, <laughs> um, yeah, so. I went there for lunch and I, I tell you, I, I've never, never eaten a salad so fast in my life. And that was, he still I has set pictures a record. of it, like he's yeah, showing us pictures. Yeah, this morning when they were like, oh, <laughs> Chef Tanner, here I'm like oh let me go inside Google Photos I found that I saved that picture was saved and the, and the, and the salad was amazing well, so let's you. go around and, and, and take us through some of the different things you brought absolutely for us yeah today. so up front we've got the summer berry salad again like I said summertime is great for berries strawberries blueberries raspberries um, a little bit of shaved goat cheese again like I don't do crumbles I do more of a shave so it's a little bit lighter um, mm -hmm. in the summer I go a lot lighter with my fare a little bit, you know, citrus and lemon, and, mm -hmm. and so it's a lemon poppy seed vinaigrette. Um, and then Tiger River lettuces, which it's a uh, local hydroponic lettuce farm. They do amazing. That, that just speaks for itself. The base to me, the lettuce is, is the main thing. Absolutely. And then what you add to it is, is um, you know, it's just, just bonus. Exactly, like, yeah. yeah. And then again, Thanks. berries are, are great this time of year. Um, so roasted vegetable platter, you know, I like to offer something that is, you know, has no meat and it's just for, you know, vegetarians and also somebody that just, I get people that add meat to this platter as well yeah. too. So it's just a focus on, you know, what we've pulled from our own farm on the Hartness property. Um, some other local farmers, you know, uh, squash is great this time of year. Um, any of the radishes and stuff like that from spring that are carrying over our kale is also really good now. Uh, you know, peppers, tomatoes, different things, just focusing on that, giving them a light roast. We have a, a pizza oven that we utilize for a lot of different things. So, you know, taking That's that. That's my favorite plate right there. Yeah, and it, it's just a plate full of veggies uh -huh. that are all prepared very technically sound, seasoned. So that to me is, is just, you know, a beautiful presentation of just a lot of different colors. And then again, the, the peach and pig flatbread, it's a rendition of a popular menu item we've had on since we opened really in different forms. But this one's got the goat cheese base, grilled peaches, bacon, uh, arugula, and then a finish of balsamic. So Again, yeah. it's the grilled peach and bacon combo. Uh -huh. Sweet, that salty, is, yes. savory, acidic, you know, a little bit of everything on With that. A little bit of arugula on the top mm. and then yeah. drizzle, perfect. Absolutely. The perfection. So. And of course you guys have muffins and stuff yes, that are grabbing well. and going. Absolutely. So we have a full pastry case that uh, my sous chef Tim Uphold has really taken and ran with and, and there are a lot of allergen friendly stuff in there. So gluten free, dairy free. We wanted to create something that somebody with those could just walk up and get something, feel good about it. And we didn't skimp on flavor and, and you know, really went all in on trying to make a lot of really great pastries that were made allergen safe. So um, we have a full case of those. I know, we, I think we kind of have a following for those right now. Our <laughs> muffins are really great. Like, and like I said, you know, people think the gluten-free is not, doesn't taste as good as a regular muffin, but those I will say are, are some exceptional muffins. I so. mean, look at that. that that's like how a muffin is supposed to I can't, I can't to tell look. the difference, honestly. Yeah. Oh, so, it's not supposed um, to and look. And they're big, hearty muffins. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, no. Great. yeah. Some people can come visit you on the east side. Correct. Um, they can find you on, online, on social media. Absolutely, yeah. Village yeah. Kitchen at uh, heartness.com. So, uh, yeah, and, and you know, in the future, we're going to be opening um, a hotel, 170 room hotel, boutique style, uh, another fine dining restaurant called Patterson, which will be, I think, about 150 seats. It's Ooh. floor to ceiling glass, scenic views. Um, obviously, the food will be uh, more of a fine dining feel. Service will be fine dining, um, you know, a higher end style of cuisine. 
Yeah, but same same concept of uh, really sound technique. Fresh and, and delicious. Absolutely, yeah. Can't wait to come try that out. Go to their website too to see some events that they have coming up. Thanks, Chef, Chef, thank you so thank much. You so much. Delicious. For